Oh, deep sigh. Deep sighs is our <laughs> opening sound. I haven't had any coffee yet, that's why. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy Friday again. Blimey. Um, I think we're all stunned into submission today for some reason. The only person who seems to have any energy is Paddy. Came in full of beans this morning. Gave me the most wonderful welcome. And for those who don't know, that's the Jack Russell. You'll see him in the video in a little while. Um, but uh, We've had sort of lots of stuff coming in, so there's a lot of processing to do. And of course, now that we're on the winter hours, and I am just actually doing the same amount of work for the shop, but in the three days, and doing all the other things that I do at home, um, I'm knackered. <laughs> I was thinking this morning, I don't know how I did five days at the shop. I just don't know how I did that. So, um, yeah, it's definitely the right thing to do, but I'm glad that Nack Nick's in today. Nick Nack. <laughs> yes, I'm glad that Nick's in today because there's a lot of things that I can't do here on my own. Sort of having to move the big heavy stuff around is challenging on my own. And we've got all sorts of jobs putting things right and um, doing a bit of painting. We've also got the lovely Sophie, our work experience girl, coming in today. And she is going to be doing some painting. We'll show you what she's going to paint when um, we get round to it. Can you bring me back? So, um, let's get started because there's a lot to show you. The shop is so untidy. It's a complete mess at the moment because there's so much stock here. But we are endeavouring to get things cleared. So when you're ready, James, we'll turn you round or turn us round and we'll start looking. So, what shall we start with? I'll tell you one thing for sure. You can tell that spring is springing. It's just around the corner. The paint sales, the French Leak paint has gone ballistic. We're doing a paint order this morning, Nick. That's our first chore. And um, I guess because we're selling paint now up at the malt house, and so I'm ordering for here and for the malt house up in Stroud. Um, God, I feel as if I'm permanently doing the paint orders and people are ordering a lot of their wall paints now as well because they're getting their interior refreshing springtime uh, heads on and so a lot of people coming in with photographs and things and saying could I help them to sort of choose colours which of course I'm very happy to do. So paint we'll do this morning. Um, I've got these that come in. I haven't priced them up yet but I will. This was here last week. I think this is a great idea screws to the wall and you put your hose over it. I just haven't had a chance to clean it or to price it up, but I will do that at some stage today. This is in, this is a really lovely Art Nouveau um, umbrella and stick stand on for 110. Love the rust, love its fact that it's lovely and solid and it's quite happy there. And of course, if it rains and we've got new sail and it's not gone, we can use it for our own use. This I thought was really cute. This is a really heavy little weight, fourteen ninety five. Great little doorstop. Nice little bit of vintage chunk about that. Um, I've had these two lamps in. These are Laura Ashley lamps. Um, they're going off to be safety tested this morning or pat tested. Laura Ashley still existing? I don't think so. Maybe online, but I think the Laura Ashley shops have long since gone, haven't they? I think mm -hmm. along with the old body shop that looks like it's a bit dodgy at the moment as well, which is a real shame. So those will be off to be pat tested and they'll be available in the shop from early next week. This is what I'm thinking about getting Sophie to paint today. I don't know what other people think. Um, this is a tack rack. So you've got somewhere there to hang your bridle. You've got your saddle over the top of here. You've got your dish at the bottom there, which is for your dandy brush, your body brush, your hoof pick and the hoof oil, all that sort of stuff. And although it's perfectly OK as it is, I rather fancy that being painted up in Black Forest, which is a really really lovely very dark green which i think is a super color for sort of a boot room and i think that that will be rather nice so sophie doesn't know it yet but that's her chalk today this was a bit fun ribbit ribbit 1395 little wooden tactile frog apropos of nothing really but i just thought he was lovely we've got this which is a metal door uh, holder that's 895 just shove it under your door to keep your door open which is quite cute and we've got a forget-me-not wooden lacquered tray here. It's on for $15.95. Always like those sorts of trays. And they're really sort of very elegant. Um, we've got the canvas up on the wall. Yes, it is a canvas, but it's painted to look as if it's actually 
one of the old metal signs. And I have to say, it's so realistic. Somebody came in and actually didn't believe me yesterday and went up and tried to ping it to just sort of check, check me out. But it is for real. Um, we have had a cute little mirror in, a little tabletop mirror with the crackle glaze. Uh, that's on for twenty four ninety five. Oh. Very pretty. Don't like seeing your reflection, do you, Jean? <laughs> um, and also, we've had this beautiful antique um, cabinet for a long time, and it just hasn't gone for whatever reason. So I took the bold decision to get the inside painted out using um, what was the colour? Duckling. Duckling, which is a beautiful sort of pale blue. And it's got two shelves, which we're just going to put in this morning. But already it's lifted it no end. And I think I'm going to do a little pale blue tag uh, on the key just to, to lift that as well. And that's a really, really pretty piece of furniture. It's just a shame it didn't sell before it was sold. But actually, I much prefer it now. It's, it before was like looking into the dark hole of cold cutter, wasn't it? But now it's just got this light and it will show up all the things you can put on it. I think that'd be really nice actually in the bathroom if you had a big enough bathroom. Right, let's go and have a little look down here. This is very pretty. This is on for 175. This is an old French mirror and we've decoupaged the surround here using French napkins and then put on lashings of brownie wax. And I think that's a really, really nice, nice stylish mirror. Um, where should we go? These two very heavy, uh, solid candelabras, I think these are really nice. They're not going to blow over in the wind. And for alfresco dining, I think these are really rather nice. Uh, 69.95 each, or the pair for 110. Very stylish, very nice. Um, got this heavy statue back in again. This is uh, 395. I took it up to the malt house for a while. And it didn't sell up there, so I bought it back just because I love it. And I think it would look super with lots of greenery all around it. Um, this little tray on the stand, 1995, always useful. Um, sort of, hmm, what else? What else? What else? The what? Oh, yes, got this lovely train up here. This is a triangle train, 1930s to 1937. Just a very stylish thing to have on a shelf. And I just love the wear on it and the colour. Um, nothing on the table there. Nice big dairy bowl here, an antique open dairy bowl. That's on for 93. Um, we've got our obelisks back in now. So um, various, the large obelisk is on for 46.95. The medium size one is 43.95. And the small one is on for 33.95. The small one actually is great to go on the top of big pots, but they are really nice. And this time we've gone for the rounded tops, which are less dangerous Morning, for eyes. Morning, Julie. Morning, Julie. Nice to have you there. Lots of garden pots come in. Um, I thought this was very, very nice. This is um, um, a cast aluminium pot. It's on for 42 95 Just like the style of it. And I could imagine that with some really tall... Gladioli. It's a very low price. It's a very low price. It's low price. If I get things at a good price, I pass them on at a good price. I think that's super stylish. Can you imagine it with some... times more than that? Quick, get another pen, quick, mm. Nick. Put a one in there. 142.95. Yay! So then we've got some nice little chimneys here. We've got the cast iron sort, which I've got one of these in my back garden. I've had it for years and I burn up all my rubbish and stuff in it and I just think they look so great. That one's on for 58.95. And then the terracotta one here, which is beautifully weathered. Tracy that's on for 64.95. Who? Tracy. Tracy Allen. Morning, Tracy. Thanks for joining us. And this little Staddlestone, I haven't put this onto the system. We've got a price on it, but I haven't put it on the system yet. This is on for 114.95. It's a solid stone Staddlestone. Uh, the top does lift off, and it has been carved on the inside to slot nicely over the base. I think that is just so pretty. We've still got our great big, do these remind you of Bill and Ben pots? <laughs> Weed. God, that shows our age, doesn't it? But I could imagine Bill and Ben popping up out of these. This one I haven't shown you yet. I'll give you that, Nick. Um, this one we've had in, we had a piece of marble. I went to this local marble company, Cotswold Marble, looked them up, 
follow them. They really are excellent. They're based in Charfield, which is about five miles down the road from us. And um, I went down there. I chose the grottiest piece of marble. I, it was fairly basic, but it was Carrera marble. And I said, can you make it fit this? And they bought it back up and they've chamfered the edge and they've polished it. And it's the poshest piece of marble ever now, isn't it? It just is beautiful. So we're leaving a lot of this, the weathered stuff we're leaving. But somebody in their infinite wisdom decided to paint the underneath of this in pink, which clearly is just not nice. So we're going to be doing some paint work on this, but leaving a lot of the rust and the um, weathering on the sides run. I think that would be really nice and that will go on to the system. Um, that might be something we might even attempt today, but our do list for today is massive. <laughs> so then we've got a pair of these cast iron antique um, Medici urns. This is a £410 for the pair, but they are so pretty. They're so super stylish. These are lovely indoors or outdoors. Um, and I just think that with the cream and the wood, they're just, just lovely. What else is there, Nick? We've still got the four chairs. These come with the flaps of material over the top just to sort of protect and keep everything really clean. They're in really good condition. Um, nice, solid chairs. Children's stalls, yeah. We've got a couple of those. Got a little Dino one in there, which is 21 95 and this little one, which has got an elephant motif stamped in the top of it, which is twenty two ninety five. Um, I think we did the boot scraper last week, didn't we? Did we do a boot scraper? Well, if we didn't, here it is, thirty five ninety five. Nick was using this as weights last week, just showing off his muscles. Um, made from concrete, but very nicely weathered and very solid, nice and easy to have by your back door and just great for scraping the mud off your boots. You don't know how good these are until you've got one and then you use them all the time. You can hold that a second, I'll just hold up these. We've got two really, really lovely, solid um, metal hanging baskets. The pair are on for $24.95, really good value. Um, they've got the twisted metal as well and they're very heavy duty. I know. I know, we've got some fantastic bargains. Each, I would have said. Yeah, you, you would probably be paying, I would have thought, something like about £48.50 each, each in a garden centre. But we have got some amazing bargains in here. And people need to just pop in and come and see and scout them out. The lovely bath, which we bought um, last week when we went shopping, sold about 10 minutes after we put it on the internet. And they're coming to pick that up on Saturday. That's going to look amazing planted up. We've got the little small crowns. These just look wonderful. I bet I haven't got a pot there that's the right sort of shape. But let's see. Hmm, maybe just a little bit too big on that one. But when you plant your geraniums and your trailing lobelias and your fuchsias and everything else and they grow up through the crowns, they just look so lovely. So these we call our crowning glory. Um, and then we've got these ground balls as well, which are just very nice, just placed on the lawn or in a border. Or again, they can be on the top of a pot and your plant can go up through it. So the prices of those are outside. I can't remember what they are offhand. Thank you. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Need that. Um, lots of gardening bits and pieces now coming in. We've got this which came in, twenty-six ninety-five. This is actually a half-gallon oil pot, but there are no leaks in it. And doesn't that look gorgeous? And I just thought that that might be something I would use to water my plants with. We've also got this tri-metal watering can, super stylish, no leaks in that at all. And it feels really balanced to use. Um, $47.95, stylish to look at and obviously functional as well. And of course, a bit rusty. And I do love the rust, all the rust and the naturals and all the rest of it. That's $24.95, a little basket, put it on your windowsill, put your flower pots in it or put them outside in the garden. Um, you're getting his lead. Sorry. Can I come out in the garden, Pads? He's a good boy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Good boy. Good boy. Um, put my coffee there for a sec. Right, let's go and see what we've got outside. This helps to unlock the door first, doesn't it? <sighs> so... We've had um, the first of our French folding tables in. 
Um, this one is on for 154.95. Got a lovely bit of rusted patina going on on the top and some old paint showing through. And um, that folding mechanism on this one is lovely. So if you're starting to look for your lovely French things to have in the corner of your garden, full of terracotta pots, or indeed just to have your coffee on them, that's one to come and have a look at. $37.95 for this um, Chinese koi carp fish bowl. Um, the Glastonbury chair is on for $185. Thinking of getting Sophie to paint that, what does everybody think? I'm thinking of maybe something like After Midnight or Steel Teal, something a bit dramatic. Just trying to weigh that up. This is on for $44.95. Very nice, stylish blue chair. Um, those balls on the floor, they're $31.95. This, I think, is fantastic, £120, got the brakes on at the moment, each, each wheel has got a brake on it, just to put all your logs in, you can wheel it around from the back of the house to the front door, we stop them, blah, 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 just brilliant. We've got the fire pits, I've got these very nice French vine candlesticks here, they're on for £64 for the pair, they'd look nice on your alfresco dining. Got some nice big terracotta pots here with a bonus plant. Forgot what it's called. I had to put it on the Instagram, but it's it's there. Lots of pots. The little crowns that we showed you just a moment ago, they're on for $28.95, and the big ones are $31.25. Um, more pots. These I thought were lovely. I'll bring one up to show you. This is a pigeon on a stick. These are new. We haven't had these before. $19.95. Morning! Um, 1995. I thought they were rather nice just to stick in your lawn. And then, I know you lose signal back there, don't you? So, this is lovely. Ugh. Oh, my muscles. That, I think, is super. That is going to look absolutely gorgeous planted up. And that's on for 135. It's got the drainage holes in the, um, this, what would you call this, tray. Yeah, galvanised tray, and um, it's just ready for planting up. It's going to look super. So, leave that there for a moment. That's it. Let's get back in, get that coffee going again. It's quite chilly today, isn't it? it? It is. Yesterday I had the door open all day. It was so mild. It was unbelievable. Mm. But it's um, a little chilly around the edge today. Are you doing your yoga, Paddy? Are you doing some yoga? So, um... We've had three lots of people bringing in some really big amounts of the um, first aid and um, out of date drugs, etc., for the Ukraine effort. And um, thank you to everybody who's doing that. Please spread the word. Um, what's the latest, Ginge? I oh, was just still collecting. They still need collecting. it more than ever at the moment. So. Yes, they're struggling there on the front lines and it's non-lethal aid that we send. We know all of the uh, chain of custody, so it reaches the uh, final destination on the front line hospitals. So, yes, any little donation, however small, please bring it in or give us a ring and we can collect it. And um, do come in and see us. Um, we have been very aware there's been half term this week, so that always makes things a little bit quieter. But we are here working our socks off and um, very upbeat, enjoying it. And even though we're supposedly now in recession and everything else, well, we're just going to ignore all that. We're just going to carry on. And one day everything will be just marvellous, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so have a great week, everybody. And um, we'll see you next week if we are spared, won't we? Bye yeah. for now. Bye. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Yeah.